All right, guys, I'm back again. Steve with Supremo. Didn't think I'd be doing another video this soon after the one I did yesterday, but there's something going on right now that we need to talk about that's a serious issue that's been plaguing uh, gamers and collectors like us for a long time now, and that's with the release of these collector's editions. It seems like in very limited quantities and just people not being able to get their hands on them and then scalpers just going to town with it on eBay and just taking advantage of the system that... It's been given to them. Now, as you all know, and I'm actually doing this with my headset today so I can have better audio to get this out. So sorry you have to see this on my head, but I want to make this clear because this is pretty upsetting. Uh, Metroid Dread was announced yesterday or during a new Nintendo's uh, E3 digital event. Now, as I had stated in my video that I pretty much watched the event, then I immediately had to go to work. And I guess during that time, uh, a special edition was announced for Metroid Dread, a collector's edition that was going to be coming out for $89.99. And where I work at, it's a highly secured facility. We can't even have phones or anything in there. So for me to get access to a computer, even to the outside world, can be difficult sometimes. So uh, I had no idea this even happened. The only way I found out is when I got off work later that night, around 11.30, I saw a, a tweet from a fellow YouTuber, Ultimate Floyd one who said, he tried to get his hands on it, but it was gone, like literally in seconds. And it's just, man, for people like me and others like me, or anyone who's a fan of their series when this happens, it hurts when there's a collector's edition out there that you want to get. And it's just, it's gone, like in a matter of seconds. And as you see here, I'm going to go ahead and scroll me on down so you guys can go ahead and see like what they released, Nintendo here, on Twitter, announcing that they had... The special edition coming out that had this artwork and stuff with it, the collector's art book and a steel bookcase and stuff like that. And scrolling through it, like immediately people were already complaining. Of course, you got some Metroid fans. But I noticed further down, like people try to get it. And let's see. Like, can you guarantee me a way to get this purchase? They really want to give the money, but pre-orders were already gone. Someone else on here said they logged in and it was gone in 15 seconds. So I'm not going to scroll through all these, but a lot of these were fans who really wanted to get the game. But unfortunately, from uh, scalpers and stuff, or it could be fans too, but once we go to eBay here, we'll see. Like, it's just gone. You go to GameStop, of course, not available, sold out. Best Buy, coming soon, pre order sold out. Like, just so many of these sites target everything now is there going to be another stock that happens to fulfill more people who want to get some are there going to be in-store releases perhaps for some of these items for people who want some i don't know like there's no guarantee i know with nintendo in the past stuff that's limited and not out there they normally are doing these one print runs with them and that's it like with fire emblem three houses i don't think extras came out the xenoblade chronicles definitive edition i do not believe extras and stuff like this ends up happening. You get eBay. And then here you go. People upselling it already. Selling the pre-orders. Uh, $200, $150, $170, $199. And it goes on and on and on. And I believe when you click on some of these. I don't know which one of these. Five available. Eight sold. Like how, how is this even possible? Like, how did this person already sell eight of these and they have five available? And it stinks because this person has five available. Or this scalper has five of these available. But how, how is this even possible? And if you look at even other ones, unless these are people just trying to take advantage and scalp people, I would never look for available. Like, it's all just people have multiple. I don't even know how that works. I've never bought a pre-order for someone on eBay. But as you can see, it's an issue and something that needs to be fixed. And Nintendo, other companies, there's got to be a way to better combat stuff like this out there. There's just got to be a way. I know limited run games, they they got to be, they have worked out a system, at least with their games, where I believe they do have limited quantities of collector's editions. Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe they do. But a lot of their games are made to order now. So if we pre-ordered, uh, I think a game that's coming out uh, soon, or anyone who pre-ordered the No More Heroes Switch games that are coming out, they're making those to production to fulfill the numbers of the people who ordered it. 
I do not know why this cannot be a system that cannot be adopted by Nintendo itself or other companies that if you have paying customers who want to pay more money for this collector's edition, just make them to quantity. It, it doesn't need to be this limited number or collector set in small quantities to, to do this. I mean, if you want a company's goal should be to make more money. So just make more of them so people will pay you more money or made to order. It seems like a great concept to me, and I don't know why more people do not adopt it. But there has got to be some way to fix this because, of course, I'm a Metroid fan, so I'm upset that this has happened to me. I would have been upset if it happened. It happened to me with uh, the Shulk Amiibo, uh, the Dark Souls Amiibo, uh, all these things. It, it just happens because there's never enough to go around instead of just making something to order. They just want to make a certain amount of number. And I know myself is to blame too. Make me a little bit bigger again here. And I know I'm not fully innocent in this as well because I could, I, I should have known, I should have checked right after the conference was over like, oh, maybe they're going to be releasing that stuff now, the Amiibos and stuff. Now let me check before I go. But I was in a rush. Like I said, I had to get to work. So. I mean, I'm sorry that I can't be on my computer all the time to check these things and pre-orders and alerts to see when stuff goes available. It's like when the PS5s and stuff were getting released and people had to be on phones and subscribe to certain Twitter feeds to let them know when, oh, consoles might be coming out and launching on this day. So let me get ready and get in line. A lot of us adults do not have time to do that. So it just it stinks that it happens. And I hope that there's a way in the future for stuff like this to be fixed because there's got to be a way. There's got to be a way. I mean, we're seeing companies do it now. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Is this something that you guys really don't care about? Have you been affected by it in the past and it just doesn't bother you? You've grown used to it. Or like, would you like to see something fixed with it too? Like, it'd be nice if these companies who are getting our money could, you know, like return a favor once in a while to us for purchasing and being fans and stuff of waiting for these things. And I don't just think just a little hurt from it and it stinks that I can't get it. And I know eventually I'm going to have it. It's just now I'm going to have to pay more for it than what I could have at retail. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave in the comments below. And hopefully uh, maybe one day the companies will actually listen to us and listen to some of our suggestions and get this stuff fixed. So, Or if you like your stuff being rare and hard to get. I don't. Maybe some of you out there want that, but... I'd like it to be available for everyone who wants it to get it. So we'll see. Anyway, guys, <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in on this rant. I know it was kind of out there. and something I don't normally do. It just is really frustrating, man. And I know I'm not the only one who's feeling that way. So anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Mm -hmm.